Dozens of DA supporters braved the chilly and rainy weather in Soweto to protest outside the Zola Gateway Clinic, which they allege has cost about 300 million more than what it was initially budgeted for. The hospital needs to be done, it needs to be finished. People who live in the neighborhood who get ill, there's a hospital here, so they want to come here. That's the key thing, instead of going to Barra. DA spokesperson on health, Jack Bloom, said someone must be held accountable for what he described as wasteful expenditure on the 300-bed facility which has turned into a white elephant. It's five years overdue. They spent more than double the budget on it. They must find out uh, who benefited from this corruption. There must be accountability and we need a functioning hospital for the people of Soweto. The hospital is earmarked for the southern communities of Soweto and is expected to alleviate pressure from the Chris Hani Baragwanath Hospital. Yeah, we need, you know, we need the, the transparency about this clinic. Why does it not open? Why so much money has been spent? to this clinic and why they let the community to be suffer like this meanwhile the clinic is here for quite a long time. The desired outcome is a functioning hospital with nurses, doctors, equipment. Out of this protest we want to, to, get, to, to be given opportunity right inside the hospital because most of us are unemployed. Meanwhile the Houting Health Department released a statement following the march saying construction at the hospital is on schedule and the facility will open to the public by the end of the current financial year. Acting Health HOD Ndoda Biela said his department had delayed open in the facility because two theatres had to be dismantled to make way for a maternity unit, which is in line with the needs of that community. Lesehon Gobeni, Eyewitness News, Jabulani, in Soweto. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.